What's up, Bakugan fans? Check it out. It's the Battle Amp Pack and the Nanogon Brawl Pack, both exclusive to Target stores. There's a bunch of cool Bakugan in these sets, so let's crack open these boxes and see what we got. We'll start off simple with the Target exclusive Nanogon Brawl Pack. Here's our Bakugan. I'm gonna look at the Bakugan first and then check out Sledge. Bakugan Brawl! Piracy Moga, stand! Bakugan Brawl! Bakugan Stand! Bakugan Brawl! Darkest Rairazu, stand! I don't care if it's real or not! I have become free! Snap Trap! Heck yeah, two of my favorite Bakugan from year two in one awesome set. Simoga, of course, reminds me a lot of Laser Man from the Legacy series with these big opening and closing arms, but his overall body shape is, I think, a lot cooler than a, a kind of a chunky looking robot. And Rairasu is like a, I got some kind of a plant guy. I don't know what he's supposed to be based off of, but. Simoga's name, of course, comes from Simo, the winner of the very first invitational tournament. He won the tournament and got to name a Bakugan after himself. And I just think this design is incredibly, incredibly cool looking in the new bright red Pyrus colors. I don't know what Rayraza is supposed to be named after. A loaf of rye bread, maybe? Both of them have uh, a really pretty awesome looking character design. A lot of Bakugan are based off of sort of traditional mythical creatures, but Rayrazu and Simoga, I don't know exactly what they're supposed to be based off of. Maybe Simoga's supposed to be like a, like a Naga or like a Medusa, but he's also got these like awesome like spiky arms which give him just a really unique look. And then Rayrazu is some kind of a plant monster, but like three-headed quadruped form just looks really cool. Both of these are the same character cards as these Bakugan had in year two, but a lot of new fans probably didn't get those Bakugan, so this is a great opportunity to stock up on some of those classics. And both of these are very, very classic if you ask me. And then of course something that is new for year four, Nano Sledge. Nano Sledge, as most Nanogon are, is a pretty simple transformation. People probably think that Sledge is supposed to be like a, a bat or something, but no, Echo is a bat. Sledge, I think, is some kind of a gargoyle or a grotesque with laser cannons. Actually, quick fun fact about Gothic architecture. A gargoyle is actually supposed to be the spout of some kind of a drainage system or a gutter. Whereas if you see just a statue, that is called a grotesque. Just a little, little gothic architecture knowledge that I have. <laughs> Let's transform Sledge into Nano Gear form. Nano Gear, of course, is a power that the Brawlers get access to later on in the season Bakugan Evolutions, where a Nanogon can not only be a cute little critter, but can also attach to a Bakugan to give it the same powers as a Baku gear from year two. Whether that be swords or laser cannons or some other kind of gizmo or gadget. I prefer Nanogon, as just a fun little guy. All right, that's one pack. Let's move on to the next. Surely I cannot be the only one amped to check out the Battle Amp Pack, because it literally contains every gimmick from every year of Bakugan. It's got an Ultra Bakugan from year one. It's got a Baku gear from year two. It's got a Geogon from year three and a Nanogon from year four and a normal Bakugan to carry us through the whole thing. I can't wait to check this out. It seems like a culmination of all of modern Bakugan. Let's open it up and see what's in store. One of these days, I'll remember to pre-cut the tape. Oh.
Boom, there we go. Bunch of Bakugan. Let's take a look at them. If you were around for Armored Alliance in year two, you know how awesome Auxilitar is. Bakugan Brawl! Auxilitar, stand! Bakugan Brawl! Bakugan, stand! Auxilitar is now decked out in the awesome new Aurelis colors. I've always loved how Auxilitar closes. Uh, with his, his entire upper body folding back, tail coming down. It's really simple, but also really unique compared to like some of the Dragonoid designs that have come out. And then of course we've got Enoch Ultra in Darkus. You know, just compared with Ray Raza, you can see how much more silver plastic is on Enoch. Bakugan Brawl! Enoch Ultra, stand! Bakugan Brawl! Bakugan, stand! Oh, I never get bored of an Ultra Flip. Flip his little horns up. I actually think he looks cooler with his horns pointed out like that, but I think you are supposed to flip him up like that to give him that kind of spooky, creepy, demony look. Enoch is a really cool classic design, but just not complete without, boom, Twilight Axes, his Baku gear. Now let's, let's fit him out with the uh, little extra pieces here on the side. Yeah, there we go, decked out, ready for battle. And actually, something really cool about this release of not only Enoch, but of Twilight Axes, is that it comes with the Twilight Axes Baku Gear card. It's an awesome rapid fire card. This was a staple of the TCG in year two. There's the character card, really just destroying the Rei Razu in stats. Same cores, same damage, but plus 500 B power instead of 200. Pretty cool. All right, it's time for a Geogon drop with Pyrus Talam. Geogon Summon! Woo! There we go, Pyrus Talan. One of my favorite Geogon designs that I never got in Pyrus! So this is awesome! This is not a Platinum Geogon, this is a normal plastic Geogon, but man, check out those wings! 1300 B power is really strong. And for only two costs, you're gonna be able to get this out pretty early in the game. And it perfectly matches my, my background. I feel like I could have like started the video with that somewhere back there and it would have been completely invisible. And last but very not least, we've got Nano Fury. It's actually really cool to see both Talon and Fury in one set because these two characters have always reminded me of each other. Uh, an icy water bird and a fiery fire bird. I feel like they'd either be good friends or worst enemies. I, I would sing the like the little like, <laughs> heat miser, cold miser song, but I think that's copyright protected. <laughs> Ooh, but we totally can actually equip Talan with Fury as a nano gear. Isn't that cool? Oh, I love that. Or maybe as a worst case scenario, Talon being a bird of prey would come swooping in to swipe Fury up from the ground for a nice meal. The Battle Land Pack also came with two brand new gate cards that I haven't seen yet. I need to add these to my, my tally and, and fill out those gate card collections. All right, there's our Bakugan. You can only find all of these Bakugan exclusively in Target stores starting literally right now. They're gonna go fast, so get them before they're gone. And let's give one last big Bakugan brawl. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time, Bakugan fans. Full episodes of Bakugan are now streaming on Netflix. Watch more videos below.